Hello, this is partial fraction. So in this video, we are going to look at rule one, the first rule of partial fraction. So we're going to solve a question that is related to partial fractions rule one. There are so many, I mean, there are basically four rules in partial fractions. So, but because of the volume of uh, the video, and that, which is going to be pretty difficult to produce, so we're going to discuss, or we're going to solve a question that is uh, related to the first rule. And what does the first rule state? Rule one, the one. Rule one states that to each linear, to each linear factor, x minus a in the denominator, there corresponds a partial fraction, partial fraction of the form a all over x minus a, where a is a constant. This is the rule one of partial fraction. That is, if you are asked to decompose a fraction into partial fraction, uh, remember it is a partial fraction. It is not really a fraction, but we are decomposing that fraction, that rational number, to a partial fraction. Decomposing means splitting it. Okay, so to each linear factor x minus a in the denominator of the fraction you want to decompose, there corresponds a partial fraction of the form a all over x minus a, where a is a constant. So let's let's look at the question. Let's solve the question related to this rule. So uh, before we clean this up, let's write the question. Now solve the first the question there. Let's solve the question related to that. This is example one. Example one. Um, resolve. Resolve into partial fraction. Resolve into partial fraction. Resolve into partial fraction. 3x plus 2 all over x plus 2 is minus 5. Now, this is interesting. This is interesting. Now, let's, let's look at this question and see whether it is applicable or whether the rule one is applicable to this question. What this question is saying is that you have to resolve 3x plus 2 over x plus 2, x minus 5. Looking at this question, look at the denominator of this question. You know, we are going to have, uh, we are having two linear, denom two linear denominators, denominators here. X plus two is a linear uh, expression. X minus five is a linear expression. So comparing one of these with uh, what you have here, X minus A, you will see that we can apply this rule one. Because we have having X, A here is a constant, just like the capital A here. So X minus A, because we have to each linear factor in the denominator. This is a linear factor, this is a linear factor. So that corresponds a partial fraction of the form. And uh, as you can observe clearly, you see, we have two linear factors. Because we have two linear factors, we're going to have two constants. We're going to have how many constants? Two constants. If we have three linear factors, we're going to have three constants. Now, so how, how do we resolve this? Let's, let's clean the board. Let's clean the board and uh, move on. Let's clean the board. Don't forget, we have two what? We have two linear uh, factors in the denominator. So, solution. Solution. Now we have three x plus two all over x plus two multiplied by x minus five. Now correspondingly, you can resolve it into since we have two linear factors, you are introducing what two constants. So you have a all over x plus two, then plus b all over x minus five. Why? Where is B coming from? B is as a result of the second constant. If we have another constant, sorry, as a result of a second linear factor. If we have another linear factor, which makes three, 
then we're going to have plus C all over the third uh, linear uh, factor. Again, you know, we have two linear factors here. A, we take care of X plus 2. B, we take care of X minus 5. Suppose you have X minus 6 here, or X plus 7 or anything, making it what? Three linear factors. Now, plus C all over that one as well. Okay? Beautiful. Now, our, our, our target is to resolve this into partial fractions. So, what we just need to do now is to deal with the expression in uh, the right-hand side. So, let's find the answer. That's the basic thing. We are dealing with the expression in the right-hand side. Okay? So, our LCM will be what? X plus 2, X minus 5. Very good. Don't waste your time. Once you have taken this as the LCM, just cross multiply this and this. So, you have what? A into X minus 5. That is, cross A multiplied by this plus, don't waste your time, B into X plus 2. That is it. Okay? Don't forget... This is what 3x plus 2 corresponded to x all over x plus 2, x minus 5. Okay? Now, with this, what the next thing is, the next thing, we don't need, we don't need what? We don't need this denominator. Again, since they are the same. Since the denominator here and this are the same. So let's take the denominator of both uh, expressions. So we have what 3x plus 2 now corresponds to what a into x minus 5 plus b into x plus 2. Now let's use try method. Let's use try method um, to eliminate uh, a and b. Okay. Now, now we intend to eliminate. The constants, the constants A and B. Okay. Now, to eliminate, we want to eliminate one of them simultaneously. Let's eliminate uh, A first. A. Now, for us to eliminate A, looking at A, A is the coefficient of x minus 5. And to make everything here become 0, it's a very simple thing. Just relax. You get it. Okay. To make everything here become zero, because if what is in bracket here becomes zero, A will no longer be there. Just what you need to, say, to do is what to say x minus 5 is equal to zero. You know, take this expression in the brackets. So when you say x minus 5 is equal to zero, you know, x will be zero plus 5. That is what? 5. Hmm? So x will be 5. So but the moment you put 5 here, when x is 5, 5 minus 5 will be 0. That's all. And 0 times a is what? 0. So in that case, in that case, put x equals to 5. So by the time you put x equals to 5, then we have, then we have, what, what do we have now? Let, let us write it here. Because of the space, and uh, we have to be careful so that we don't uh, write the important, we don't clean everything up. So now we have what? 3x. Instead of uh, what now? x, we have 3 into 5 plus 2. Sorry. Plus 2. Uh -huh. Are we following? Beautiful. Then a into 5 minus 5. You put 5 there. Plus b into 5 plus 2. Okay, good. Now, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 here. That's 17. We are wasting our time. Correspond to this. Everything here is already 0 because A times everything here is 0. 0 times A is 0. Plus B, B times 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 times B, 7B. I hope that is clear. Okay. If that is clear, that is good. That is good. So, this now implies... 17 is equal to 7b. And how do you now get b? You got divide both sides by 7. So you have what? 17 all over 7 is equal to b. So you see that when you eliminate a, when you remove a from this equation, you get b. That is it. So now for us to get b, sorry, for us to get a now, because we have gotten b by eliminating a. Now for us to get what? a. The value of a. We have to eliminate b as well. 
Mm -hmm. see, to eliminate or to let's say to obtain to obtain the value of a to obtain the value of a we what we need to we need to what to eliminate b you know we eliminated what a to get b so you know conversely to get a we have to eliminate b as well okay now what do we do what do we do i don't want to clean that up now okay now we'll go back to this equation obtain uh let's go past the equation mm -hmm. from uh let's say from uh, from that should be the next thing okay from this equation let's let's now we, let's go to b let's go to b b this is b b has s plus two so to make everything here become zero let's just say x plus two is equal to zero okay so that implies x is equal to zero minus two so when you put minus two here b will become everything will become zero you get it now good you get it very good so put now say put x put x is equal to minus two well let's check therefore three into minus two plus two uh, correspond to a into minus two minus five plus b into minus two plus two okay good now three times minus two that's minus six plus two uh-huh correspond to i will fall in place with beautiful a into minus two minus five that's minus seven plus b into everything here is zero good good now we expand we open the bracket up minus six plus two that is minus four I hope that is clear beautiful correspond to the a times minus seven minus seven a everything here is zero so we don't even need to put ourselves okay we need to. all right now how do we get a first of all divide through by minus because we have minus minus so this is minus this is minus cancel now how do you get a divide both side by seven so now say when you divide both side by seven you have four all over seven which is equals to eight that is you take this seven to divide this and divide this this with seven here we cancel seven here right from so seven so that means that that means that a is equals to four over seven therefore therefore Therefore, what is the question now? Now we have gotten A is equal to 4 over 7 and uh, B is equal to, what did you get for B? B is equal to what? 17 over 7. Is that what we got for B? Okay. Uh, I've cleaned up 17 over 7. Is that what we got for B? Now, let's write the equation back. We have then therefore therefore three x plus two all over x plus two into x plus five the question that was given to us which is now what which was a all over x plus two plus b all over x plus five is now resolved is now equivalent to what what is our a four over seven all over x plus two then plus b 17 over 7 all over x plus 5. So you don't need to don't, don't bother yourself. Don't stress, just don't stress yourself, okay? Just bring 7 down. That's all. You know, this is a fraction as a numerator. Bring 7 down. So now I have what? 4 all over 7 into x plus 2. Then plus 7, yeah, bring it down. 17 all over 7 into x plus so this is the partial fraction of uh, this particular fraction so if you enjoyed this video you understood everything perfectly there don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video for the first time and at the same time if you have been a, uh, a, a subscriber please give it a thumb up share this like and comment.
God bless you.